Percy Bismarden and this is the second take one. ready to do her branch line. She met the president. I wanted to meet you the first time because I saw you on television. How does it feel to come back to America? He said. It's nice, but I live on Tasman Sodor, sir. I'm just about to do the branch line run along the branch line hills. Off you go then. The president was kind, which made Rosie think he wouldn't force her to tell him about the secret line. She started collecting the people and began the journey. These hills in America are a great place for any engine to visit. The tracks go along them. Rosie never felt this pleased to see this the first time when she was young. She used to wander to it, but a driver didn't let her. Later, when she wanted to have a branch line of her own, she went to the hill branch line after she finished work. Of course, it was very long, and what the American railways didn't know was she had a cheek of wandering off when finishing with the wood delivery. And, and finally, when she was working, she in secret moved to a branch line just to do the tourist run. But while she worked, she never came home. That was when a class was scrapped. She escaped to live here so she could avoid scrap day. The 
Now today she was visiting her branch line in the hills, she suddenly remembered something. She had a secret hidden route. The, the old bush quarry. I used it to take the stone to some malls in other countries of the United States, she thought. She decided to do it after this tour run. One day she went in the whole branch line again. She was being good naughty. Little did she know that the president was planning to visit her branch line. She didn't want to get spotted with what she would bring to one of the country walls. Many years ago, she was taking the stone to the walls. She enjoyed it, but when 2014 came, she didn't do it when Trunk and Drunk were alive. There was an engine that lives in America. His name is Wilbo. He has known this railway for many years, but he didn't know there was a pink engine working in the hill branch line. One morning, the next day, Wilbo worked to do his branch line run. He saw Rosie, who was off to the hill branch line. He went after her when he took his train. Rosie started collecting the stone for the country walls when she saw the black tank engine come up. Do I know you? asked Wilbo. Another tank engine? I've seen you before. Let me see. Who's this engine? Rosie had some long thought about who this tank engine that met her. Then some realization hit them. Wilbo, Rosie, I thought you were scrapped. How did you escape? It's a long story. When our cross was scrapped, can we talk this privately? Sure so thing. What's wrong? There were many talks about my life, and this is it. My hope of meeting you. I'm early working, so I might tell you about how this started when I was brought from the wrong people. We'll talk it in the shed over there after I put my train away. When the engines were finished, they went to the shed. Wilbur began his tale.